Hi everyone, my name is Leia and today I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to help you create templates. So I'm a family physician and you know we talk about efficiency and how much work uh, we have to do all the time writing notes and so you know we have this great tool ChatGPT and why not use it? So one of the biggest time savers for me is my template. Uh, so let's say I have a patient and they come in for a knee exam, uh, they have some knee pain, and I don't want to write out all the parts of a knee exam all the time, but I don't want to forget anything either. So I have a knee template where I can just add in my data. So let's say you want to create a template, and we're going to uh, paste a prompt in here to chat GPT. So I'm telling it to write a soap note, but only the objective section, with a detailed exam of a normal knee, including range of motion, inspection, palpation, and special tests, which is what we want. So let's see. So ChatGPT will write out the full uh, objective part of the note, and it includes what we want to be documenting in terms of symmetry, swelling, redness or warmth, range of motion, including degrees, which I'm sure we all measure in the office, and uh, crepitus, palpation, and it al also lists all of those special tests for you. Now sometimes it will add in little comments like this and you can just remove that, but that's really the, the meat of what you're looking for here. And let's say you've forgotten, for example, what uh, the anterior drawer test is. You can also ask it. So what is the anterior uh, drawer test? And what does it test for and it can give you some more information and uh, you do have to be careful you know make sure that the information is correct but um, it's a great way to kind of refresh some some points and and give you some learning okay let's try something else all right so now I will ask it to do the same thing but for an abdominal exam I have to specify what I want included, so inspection, palpation, and bowel sounds. If you want something else included, something specific that you like to do in your practice, you can also tell it to do that. And I specified here that it's a normal exam because I don't want it to add in uh, random findings. I just want everything to be normal and then I can edit it depending on what I find in my patient. So let's see. Objective only, inspection, abdomen was symmetrical and appeared flat and non-tender. Uh, no visible masses, deformities, or distensions were observed. See, look at this beautiful medically medical student written note. Gentle palpation revealed uh, normal bowel sounds with no palpable masses or tenderness. Bowel sounds, active bowel sounds were auscultated in all four quadrants uh, with regular rhythm and no high-pitched sounds noted. So for some people, this may be enough. For some, it may not be. For example, I like to specify specifically that there was no hepatosplenomegaly so you can even put it back in and it will it will spit something out but the point of this is to kind of guide your your templates and have a little bit more of a uh, outline so that you can start your templates with ease and I'll show you one more cool thing so let's say you are a specialist who does uh, follow up your surgeon and you want a template for a soap note for a surgeon doing a follow-up visit for a patient status post-cholecystectomy. So uh, it will write it out. Now you see here it's only writing the objective part of it because I have a history with it only asking it for the objective part. So now I have to say write a complete soap note and there you go. So you can do this for anything, including um, changing the role. So hold on a second. It's writing so much. So it even told it told the patient what to watch out for here. And okay, so let's try one more. Let's try a complete soap note for a family doctor for a follow-up visit. Uh, let's say for a performing a 
an initial visit for a patient's low back pain. So let's say if so let's see if it gets any uh, red flags here. So this patient is a 35 year old male, chief complaint of low back pain, ongoing for the past two weeks. So you have your ID, your uh, time there, the, the description of the pain, and uh, provoking and palliative factors there. There's no red flags from what I notice. Um, exam was pretty good. And it even diagnosed it based off of its made up positive straight leg test. So there you go. So now I can just copy and paste this into my EMR. It's done the work, most of the work for me. Of course, there are things I have to edit. And you can play around with ChatGPT to really get uh, your specific templates. You can be more, much more specific with it and give it very specific instructions. So I hope uh, this video gave you some ideas on how to improve your workflow and good luck with our efficiency.